Hi everyone, welcome back. So, uh, just another update. This is going to be a bit of a big weekend, a bit of a milestone. We uh, finally got news that our tray and canopy is ready to be collected. So, tomorrow morning, I'll be getting up pretty early. I'm gonna pick up Scotty. If he's got a couple of days off, he's gonna come along and uh, come for a bit of a road trip. So tomorrow we're heading down to Alexandra in regional Victoria to pick up our tray and canopy first thing Monday morning. I've got my border travel permit and my unregistered vehicle permit ready to go. Uh, just so when I get back then Toyota will register uh, the Land Cruiser with the tray on it So that'll be good So uh, I'm just gonna make a bit of a video on uh, the trip down and then when I get back I'll do a uh, do a bit of a walk around on the train canopy. So Just gonna pack a few things tonight uh, And get ready and head off in the morning So good morning everyone, uh, I'm about to head off, it's about 5.30 in the morning, uh, it's cold, it's dark. Kookaburras are going off, anyway just chucking a few things in the car and I'll be hitting the road. <laughs> So here we are, we made it, Alexandra. Um, took us about eight hours, just pulled into town. Um, had a good run. And uh, yeah, we didn't even get stopped once. So we've got no plates on the car. Uh, Cause I've got to get the tray on it to be registered. But uh, that was a bit of luck. Just gonna have a quick cuppa and then uh, We'll uh, go and get a feed for dinner, I think. See what we can find. It's uh, just past seven o'clock. Still pitch black here in Alexandra. Anyway, I've got to uh, take the, the cruiser over to get my tray and canopy from a, uh, a great little family owned company called Hunted Engineering. So I'm just about to uh, walk out the door and drive over there. Okay, should be up here somewhere, I think it's right up here at the end, Peterkin Street. Number 10, here we go, in here somewhere, there we go, Hunted Engineering. So just got to fill in a day and a half down here in Alexandra. So just having a walk around, checking out the place, some nice old buildings. $22 postage.
So I've just walked up to the lookout, um, just on the outskirts of town here. Not a bad view. And see this nice little town. Beautiful little spot. I uh, will uh, definitely come back here. I think there's uh, there's plenty to see around the area. So we're just walking up to the pub to have dinner uh, tonight. What are you going to get, Scotty? Me? Oh, cheesy bread, jockey cake, you know, no vegetables. Yeah, okay. Um, well, anyway, we'll have a look at the menu, see what's going on. Have a couple of beers. Sounds good. Sounds real good. Yeah, so we just had a good feed in there. Finish off the night. It's time to do a uh, bit of a rundown on my train canopy. Now it is a hunted engineering train canopy. Uh, they work out of a little town in regional Victoria uh, called Alexandra. Anyway, here it is. I looked at a lot of companies, um, pretty much all of them, to uh, just to get an idea of what I was after. Um, sent away for lots of quotes and uh, information. Uh, everyone was lovely. They got back to me, gave me all the information I was after. So I just sort of sat down, had to think what I, what I wanted, you know, and what best suits my uh, needs. So. Had a good uh, good think. Anyway, this is what I came up with. Uh, I like the look of the hunted train canopy, uh, especially with the, the rope rail here. Just the way it's put together. Anyway, it um, it's a 1700 tray with a 1400 canopy. Uh, I didn't want to go the big overhang. So my tyre will obviously sit there, level with the back, same as the uh, the ladder and the tow bar there. That's all sort of in line. You know, I didn't want to go a big tray and then have a full canopy and then more overhang. Um, that's just not the way I wanted to do it. So it's once again, it's all personal. Um, I just wanted to try and keep as much weight over the wheels as I could. But uh, I am really happy with this train canopy. Got in touch with uh, the guys down there, Jason and Christy, really lovely people. Um, just told them what I was after. And uh, they were lovely to work with, really nice people. Um, young couple, family owned business, Australian business. So it was, uh, it was really good to uh, support them keep it all Australian made and uh, I think it looks uh, really good I'm really happy with it um, I like how it comes up to a dovetail here also here I wanted the fuel on the outside I'm not a big fan of having it in the in the box it's just uh, just how I wanted it I just didn't want anything in the box didn't want it leaking anything like that so I, I really like how that's just on the outside, plain and simple. You don't have to muck around opening drawers and moving stuff to get to it. I got my, just the one spare wheel. I do have two, but I just got the one attachment for the time being on the driver's side because when I deck the canopy out, I'm going to put the fridge on the passenger side. So it'll sort of balance the weight out a bit. Um, I've got the ladder, just pull this. <coughs> You know, have you seen a better looking uh, ladder? And up here, you've got the built in roof rack. You know, you can tie your swags down or whatever you need to do. So, uh, you know, that's just, that's just awesome, you know, and it lines up, lines up with the headboard there. You know, good quality hinges. I've got the uh, trundle drawer at the back here.
and that's on the gas struts so it's sealed which is really nice you know obviously you can put that down use that as a table which will be great got the LED lights steady reverse lights nice and bright I mean just look at the look at all these uh, brackets and look at the work that's gone into those you know that looks really cool handle here foot down provisions for a light in there I mean you can have any any setup you want um, those guys will help you out um, they've got a big list of stuff they can do you know if you want it fitted right out I didn't I wanted to do it myself part of the fun it's good the floor is level doesn't drop down makes life a lot easier when you're starting off yeah four bolts in the corners just to hold it down nice big washers but uh, there's plenty of frame here you know it's really really solid uh, really good job it's all been painted inside and out so there's plenty plenty of frame here uh, to attach you know my walls to uh, when I get around to fitting it out so that'll be nice it does come with um, the legs that's all included um, you know two holes there nice and strong some of them only have one but maybe you can see all this this bracketry a bit better in the light you know good quality handles I think they're called whale tails I've just kept it pretty basic you know there's no central locking or anything like that more to go wrong <laughs> um, I'm happy with the key keep it simple so it locks obviously locks in the center and on the sides so there's heaps of room in here got the drawers here underneath So that's uh, that's good. Get some good stuff in there. Might put a compressor in there or something. Recovery gear. It also comes with the sides. You know, if you want to take the canopy off, you can just put your sides on. So I've got those in a box over the back there. I probably uh, won't use those for a while. So I hope you can see that all right. It's a bit dark here in the shed. But uh, no, I'm very happy with that. So that'll be next. Have some fun fitting that out. Have a think what I want to do. So just before I forget, um, it's a steel tray, aluminium canopy. And, uh, they've got their logo pressed into the, into the door there. It's also up there on the back of the headboard. So it's just a good job all around, you know. You can attach all your cables here. You can get a water tank in the back there if you want. Just uh, let them know. Um, or underneath, there's plenty of room. Plenty of room under there. So when I was talking to them at the start, I got in touch with the guys at Superior and they were uh, kind enough to get in touch with Hunted just to make sure there were no clearance issues. So it was good, everybody was working together. And as you can see, I've got plenty of room under there. So they do a good job. I've just got to extend my fuel breather hose there. So you can see where the, the pipe runs for the, for the fuel in there. Nice job there. And you can just see the, the quality of the workmanship. It's just top notch. You know, it's a, it's a really nice job. Really happy with that. I just like the way it looks. I think it complements the the rest of the cruiser pretty nice. Makes the back look good. So 
So there we go. You know, if you're looking for a tray and canopy, make sure you check Hunt It Out. They make a really nice, really nice combo. You know, and you can have different sizes and whatever you want, whatever you want. Anyway, thanks guys.